What up guys? Dominic just got back into town, but when he was away, I have been doing nothing but collecting parts. I have a bunch of amazing partners that helped build this fleet of sweet ass parts that we're gonna put on the East Coast car. So this is gonna be East Coast car episode six. And uh, let me show you guys what we're working with. We got the Toyota frame rail for the left side that we're gonna replace. So we're probably gonna cut it off somewhere around here to uh, weld into its final spot. OBP sent their big package. We got the OBP version two pedal box kit nice floor plate we got a floor plate for the um, underneath that we have the floor plate for the passenger side it's a little box for people to put their feet in so they're not kicking everything around um, I got an ATI damper for the 2j we got the rad Dan billet water pump slash alternator bracket this thing is super sick and this is a dash 16 ORB fitting uh, we also have the upper water neck from Dan and this swivels so you can kind of set it in whatever location you want and it's also o-ring which is super dope so you don't have to worry about any gaskets anymore the other thing i have is the krc gretty bracket to mount the krc power steering pump off the front of the engine which is sweet so this goes right here this pulley goes on here and that'll mount this will mount on the front of that and then it'll just be a belt that drives the power steering pump also we got the obp Handbrake, this thing looks dope. It's gonna look good in the car, pretty easy to install. And then we got the brand new Garrett G35-1050 with a .82 AR. It's a little small, but I want a little extra spool. Uh, the other thing we got is the new Mishimoto radiator, which we're gonna make a triple pass. Uh, we have our expansion tank and water tank. And then Recaro sent over these super bitchin' Pro Racer SPA Han seats. I got an XL. And a skinny boy this is a skinny boy and it's the xl i actually might be using the xl for the driver's seat we'll see um but super pumped that they sent these over they look they're gonna look killer in a car this is what I, i've been running in the pro car for the last few seasons um so now that dominic and i pretty much have everything we need we can finally get to work and do nothing but pump out well dom can do nothing but pump out a bunch of welding and fab work and i can dress the engine and get that ready um so Let's get started. All right, boys, we're getting into the radiator. Dom is gonna make our Mishimoto single pass a triple pass. Uh, we have a new end tank that we used on a break. Dom already bent this thing, so uh, we're gonna cut this side off. Dom's gonna weld this on, and we should be good to go. Trim it down to size, obviously. Um, and then he's gonna put a piece of metal like he'll weld a block a block in here so it travels through this side and then one on the other side so it comes back to this side um, then we'll weld on our vibrant dash 16 an fittings uh dash 16 and we should be good let's get rocking nice nice tight fit so this radiator in the way that we modified or the way that dom's going to modify it right now is exactly what we ran in the pro car so this is going to have pretty much the same cooling system set up radiator triple pass um dash 16 vibrant lines all that for the east coast car um the motor is different it is a three four stroker and it is 12 to 1 compression so it is going to generate a little bit more heat but we're also not running as big of a turbo or boost pressure so it'll probably even itself out um and then the two 12 inch Mishimoto race fans that pull 2800 CFM a piece are gonna do the trick for sure. The pro car ran awesome, especially in Florida where it's super hot in Texas. Uh, we didn't really have any issues after running two, two hard laps in tandem. So uh, tried and true and proven. No torque on the Harbor Freight bandsaw. You could probably use that. If you've never seen uh, inside of a radiator or a Mishimoto one, these are all the cooling fins. Looks pretty good. 
You gotta, uh, you might have to pinch it in a little bit. Oh, you just gotta pinch it in. You gotta pinch it? A little bit. Yep. You're gonna pinch it a little bit more? Ooh, we get to use the burnt. Gotta set the pinch depth. This is the drain, so that should be at the bottom. That should be at the bottom. Yeah, so this this could be the bottom. Okay. So that'll be the... So we just have to split it into thirds. Yeah, so it's going to go in here, go across to here, and then it's going to come here. And then yeah. Back. So it's, it's 18, so 6 inches would be thirds. Six there and then twelve. So this is where Dom is gonna put the I guess the blocking plate to make it the triple pass. Yeah. So it'll just be a little piece of piece of aluminum that goes in here that welds to the end tank um, that gets placed in here so it shields the water from going up and pushes it through to this side. So this one's just gonna be at twelve. So yeah, just one, one there and one there. Yeah. So we can take off. It actually, it has to extend into there a little bit. So in between those would be nice. So what's that? Like a one, two, it's like almost three eighths. It's a little less than three eighths. Where did you find fittings in? Yep. Two dashy boys. It doesn't need to be that long, right? So we gotta cut that off and then cut the slot. So this is, since this end tank was already on here and we're not gonna replace both sides, we just, Dominic just notched the channel, so he's just gonna slide a plate in there and then weld all around it to seal it up. No, just mark like the center of it. 
Oh god, I hope I did it right. that flat in the right spot. Good Gotta get it nice and true. Yeah, it's right in between the two fins. Yeah. All right, Dom's about to lay the first bead on one of the block off plates calling it a block off plate water separators it. always square it So Mishimoto does lay down a little bit of paint on their radiators, so if you are going to modify them, you do have to grind it off before you weld. We have done that once or twice before. I called it! <laughs> Damn! Good job! That's efficiency, folks. One pass, done. it and then bend, bend it because it it's gonna fall in if I uh yeah Jeez, dude, rolling a freaking marathon bead on this thing. <laughs> oh, hell oh. Yeah. Oh. Did it hold? <laughs> <laughs> All right, run it. <laughs> Making quick work of this thing.
Dom is fast as hell and this thing got done in like, I don't know, two hours, start to finish. Damn, look at that dimple. So this center punch I got from McMaster, what was this, 30 bucks or 40 bucks or something? $50? $50? Damn, I forgot. This thing is seriously super sick though. It's way nicer than the uh, Harbor Freight ones that wear out. So right now Dom is, we're gonna remove this little area so we have this shelf and then we're gonna put a flat piece of metal to cover up the subframe and then our coolant lines will come up through here to the radiator. Right now we're just gonna lay down a flat piece of metal. Now we got a nice flat shelf. We can run the metal all the way down, tie it all together. Template time. If I hold that in there, we can trace it. That's pretty straight. It doesn't, it only has to go to like around there somewhere. Yeah. All right, mark that, yeah. Mark. We're gonna have to cheat it a little bit because this is higher. Right. Because it, so it's gonna go yeah. up. So, yeah. So we have to angle. So maybe if we just kick this up a little bit right there, we can basically kick it up from where that thing starts. And then we just have to add a flange, however wide on there, it's gonna bend in. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the hell you were doing at first. It should be identical. Yeah. So we just add a little flange onto that. I put some weight into that thing, huh? Why do you center puncture in those areas? Because that's where it, the bend line is. So what, then bend in the middle here? Yeah. And then you gotta bend the flaps over? Yep. I have to hammer that down a little bit. How's the fitment? It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Perfect. Just gotta get into position and then fucking tack it in. Yeah, narrow and then if fatten out. Do, uh, so just narrow in the center a little bit. We just cut a straight line, it looks like, to here. We'll be all right. Ready for 29.25, 4.875. 
So two, a little under two and a half. Basically, just like an arc. <laughs> it's really, so it's a really piece of bad. shit. It just flexes. Damn. <laughs> It could almost be straight. It just needs that little kink, and then this could yeah. basically be straight. Money? Yeah, no, it's yeah, good. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, we good. Ready? Freaking mint. It just it's gonna get pulled down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We could put a little bend. It's up to you. It'll make it stronger. Let's do a little bendy guy. <laughs> just a little guy, right? A little pop up. Ooh. That yeah, looks good, dude. So Dom took the apron off. So this is the edge on here. Is it on? I don't even know what he's doing. See, what you can do is you can just put a little. Oh, just add a little strength to it. Yeah. So, see, that makes it like super strong. Oh, yeah. Bead roller can make it real nice, but. Yeah, okay. Improvise. Man, we need Clecos. We need so much stuff still. Clecos would be money right now. All right, guys, we are done for the night, but we made some freaking good progress today. Radiator's done, the panel's done, and what's next, Dom? Uh, mount the radiator. Yep. And then... Um, Fan shroud. We'd have to make the firewall. That'll be the next day's plan. Till then, we're gonna get some sleep.